Hey, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running, the trail and ultra running YouTube channel. Last September, I was at the finale of the Golden Trails World Series at the Skyline Scotland. And I asked some of the top international athletes like Stian, Angle and Vic, what running gear they simply cannot live without. What running gear can't you live without? Mine would be my Camelback Ultra Pro 7 litre running pack right now, and also my Garmin 225 GPS watch. Comment below to join the discussion. So remember to like the film and take a look at my Patreon page for monthly competitions and perks from Wild Ginger Running YouTube channel and enjoy finding out what makes these top athletes tick. This film is powered by Ellis Brigham. Their new trail running range is now available in 24 stores nationwide or shop online at ellis-brigham.com. I think my race pack, um, I think it just fits. It is, yeah. It's, uh, it's not been washed since yesterday and it was a little bit hot so there's a small salt line um, around the <laughs> but that just shows how snug it is. It's all realistic. Um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't intend to bring it as a prop, but here we are. Um, just it fits really well. It's really snug and you, you can fit loads in it, but it's also, if it's empty, it feels really tight and snug. Oh my goodness, arm warmers. I love arm warmers. And the more colourful and... Yeah, I love, I love arm warmers. They're brilliant. You just, you know, you just roll them up when you're a little bit cold and... Off they go. I just, I've always got arm mummers on. And people actually say that they recognize me in the street because they see my arm mummers. So yeah, I love them. And visors, visors. I have shoes to encounter, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shoes is running gear. Yeah, my shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't imagine running um, in road shoes. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I love testing new shoes and trying different ones and seeing how different ones work on different terrains. So definitely my shoes are my favorite. Um, obviously shoes are a big one. I mean, like, you know, like with Solomon, it's like, we're so lucky because we have specific shoes for every type of terrain. They do a great job for us of like, you know, you know, a race like this, we have a specific shoe for it. Um, or several, you know, that we'd like. Um, and so, you know, that's that's the biggest thing, obviously, with you know, if you're a runner, like you've got to rely on your shoes. And I mean, other people are going to say, oh, this pack or those that shirt or this hat. But really, it comes down to like whatever shoes you're wearing. Like that's what a running like running comes down to is like that's your only contact point to the ground um, and with anything around you. And so that is the most important thing. Probably my wind's top because I think, you know, I don't know, now that I live near to the mountains and I kind of have a bit of flexibility in my life I guess if it's really horrendous weather I probably don't run in it as much as I used to I used to kind of go like well that's the only time slot I've got so I go out whatever the weather now I can be a little bit more selective and but you never get a lot of this weather so actually most of the time it's kind of pretty dreech and a bit windy and a bit drizzly and I find that a wind top kind of is a good all-rounder you know you can just keep so much of the chill off by just having like taking the wind off effectively it's not exactly running gear, but I, I do love a down jacket, and you know I, I wear I wear it all through the year as well, um, just because I I like a down jacket. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the string vest. The string vest. I don't know. I like. Uh, I, I've uh, I cut I cut one of my club vests into a crop top, and honestly, it was really effective because sometimes when you've got a vest on and it gets wet, it stops the um, the air from flowing. And sort of sticks to you, and I found if I if I cropped it just below the sort of chest, it, it worked perfect. So, so maybe, for you then. yeah, it hasn't caught on though. <laughs> uh, generally, a my Innovate buff. I do love to wear my Innovate buff. I'm not um, wearing it right now. I'm not right now. But it's in my bag. It's in my bag because <laughs> it's quite warm. So, shoes wise, a mud claws or XL on two on twos are my two favourite ones. Um, they're just dead comfy. I can rely on them, trust them. Um, mug claws, I wore my mug claws yesterday and they were great for the grip. And I say they're comfortable, they fit me well. Um, so yeah, I, I like I like to stick with what I know. So they're the two that I do love the most. <laughs> of course you get some favorites stuff, but I think like favorite for different kind of, um, uh, different kind of racing or where you are. Uh, for the winter time, some, what do you call like, not, not the long um, sleeve, but the thing you put on under the trousers oh, yeah. to keep warm. Thermals. Thermals. Thermal yeah. leggings. Yeah, like super thin one. Yeah. Uh, it's like very thin fabric, 
but I don't get warm. Like I don't get like too warm or sweaty, but never get like too cold. So it's like having amazing temperature. So I use that like during the whole winter. This shirt is a prototype of a new fabric. So like it's uh, uh, not getting too warm. Super nice fabric. So maybe it's kind of future clothes uh, for Salomon, hopefully. Wow. Can but, I take a close up of it? Yeah. Can you just um, show this? It's yeah. like uh, super thin and it can almost look straight through. Yeah. So it's uh, it's very nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of cool things. Yeah. So uh, now we're like working on a new shoe and that's awesome. So it's cool to be a part of those projects. Well, maybe there's one which I would really miss, but it's, a, it's not really equipment, it's an orienteering map. Here today I did a great at the trail race, but uh, in my heart uh, that orienteering is like each time I get an orienteering map in my hands, it's I'm so excited. It's it's uh, it's magical. It's there's a saying: uh, if you get a map in your hands, you're magic, and it, it's it is true. If you've orienteered for many years, it's such a pleasure to to navigate through the terrain, and you know it's it's if you've done it enough, it's very. Um, instinctive and like it, it just you go with the flow you you flow to the terrain and that's um that's something i would miss very dearly if i wouldn't be able to do that anymore it doesn't need to be a competition if i just get a map and uh, i can run through the forest and set my own course this would be good enough <laughs>